Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of the Kings and Queens Table. My name is Tumini. I'm glad to be here. Um, I'm joined by... Hi, everyone. My name is Kuforola, and I'm also very excited to be here. My name is Rilulua. Um It's 12 a.m., so I'm not sure how I feel about being excited. <laughs> What's going to be here, Hi, I'm Pierce, and I'm happy to be here. Hi, my name is Bellamy. Um, they said we are supposed to say one thing that is just now about us. So, um, I don't know, watching movies. <laughs> I like watching movies, so yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, welcome everybody. So our question for today goes to us. I've been struggling with feelings of jealousy towards my friends who seem to have life and relationships all figured out. How do I overcome these feelings and on my own journey? And I'll just be reading a quick Bible verse on jealousy. That's from Proverbs 14 verse 30. It says, peace of mind makes the body healthy, but jealousy is like a cancer. Peace of mind makes the body healthy, but jealousy is like a cancer. So jealousy is quite a lot so i'm going to start my first question is has anyone here ever felt jealous and how did you like handle those means of jealousy no i think jealousy is normal <laughs> i don't know sometimes well, not, not normal i say but like i don't know it feels like one of those things that just happens yeah. i can't be the only one <laughs> Yeah, it's not just you. I think it, it just happens. Sometimes you're not, you know, you can't even control it. Sometimes, I mean, yeah. well, you can't, but it just comes. Yeah, it actually just comes. Cause you just like <laughs> think about, start thinking about life, <laughs> and it just pops up. <laughs> okay. Has anyone ever had like a very long-standing jealousy like that over years? Yeah, I think I think I have something like that. Although, like, in my same petish time, but there one time, when I was really young, because of, like, okay. I couldn't ride most bikes and all those bicycles. So, there was this guy that used to be in the same shoes. He gets me now. Like, like we're the same height. Not like I was short, too. I'm not a short person. But that time, we were both, like, we're not tall, as we were. And... All of a sudden, he hit a growth spot and he started getting taller than me. And this guy started riding bicycle. And me, I, I could not ride oh. bicycle. <laughs> oh. 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 Very painful. Primary five, primary six, just Sorry. one, just two, just three. And so my own came, child, and I could not ride the bicycle that he was riding in primary six or something like that. When I was in J Street, can you imagine? Wait, I'm not, I'm not hurt about it. I've let it go. I've let it go. <laughs> by gone, by gone. I mean, by gone. Anyway, yeah, sure. Okay. So I think we've established that jealousy is a pretty normal thing. And we've all felt yeah. jealous at one point or the other. So any advice for this person struggling with jealousy, specifically towards their friends? Because I feel like when you're jealous of people that you're not necessarily in close proximity to, it's easier to ignore it and it goes away over time. But Pelumi, how would you deal with jealousy towards your friends? <laughs> <laughs> oh, how was it directed at me like that? <laughs> <laughs> all right um hmm. okay so i think one of the things for me is when i see like it's just like okay i've said that sometimes it just comes up so but i think one of the things that i've noticed that is best to do is like to remind yourself that um especially that god has a stance for you because usually um there's always a way that when you know that you're trusting god trusting god that god has been leading you so far in how you've been living life you know that even though it seems like there's some things that you want that's happening in your friend's life that's maybe happening in their relationships or whatever but it's not happening in your own life then you just go like okay okay like i know that 
God is working everything out for my good. <laughs> that kind of vibe. So it's more like just trusting that, okay, God has a better plan for me. And so it's like, you know, use that to remove your mind. I think that's the, that's, that's the solution for me. Maybe peace can add something or something. <laughs> Okay, peace. Well, I think let me have said it said what was on my mind. <clears throat> As to what to say, I mean what to do when it, when you're in that circumstance. It's just like trusting God that He has better better things, better plans for you. So that's like a better way to like overcome that jealousy. And then just trust and believe. That you okay. have to get the best. Yeah. Kofu, do you want to add something? Um, I think what I would add is in situations like that where you um, see that your friends are in relationships and it seems like they have life and things like, you know, people tend to like do things they're supposed to do. Because they want to get to that same like space, they want to get to that place where all they are. Dead. But I think it's just, I mean, you just need to be patient. You need to people calm down. Yeah, you need to be patient and just like allow God work things out for you. But honestly, I feel like I mean, just like believe me and peace. I feel that's like the best thing to do. Honestly, there's no other alternative around. You just need to calm down. Don't allow jealousy to push you into doing what you're not supposed to do. Into doing the wrong things. Yeah. Okay. Really, anything to add? Um, I think you know, it's just this Christmas season, and I was going to Twitter today, and I couldn't just pass to post without seeing people in pajamas, thinking it's cool to sit under yes. a tree wearing matching. Pe- and for me, not like I'm jealous. So I'm not jealous. Let's just establish. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so. <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. But well, it's just very. <laughs> anyway. I think that's just a major point for me. I was just looking at it. It looked cute, I know, but ah, what is... Anyway, I think um, knowing where you are and, like, sticking to the plan that, you know, you're working with at that phase in your life helps you keep yourself from being jealous unnecessarily. Because then you look at some things and you're saying, you know, what I want right now, even if I, like, for some things now, you know, if I have this now, it's going to interrupt the plan I'm working with. It's going to cut some things short that I'm supposed to work on, right? It's going to take some opportunities from me rather than being a blessing. So some of the mm-hmm. things that we're jealous about sometimes are not just valid, right? Sometimes they're just not right for us at that point in time. So I think working with God's plan for your life, especially when it comes to being intentional about planning the things you want for yourself over a specific period of time, is a good way to keep yourself from being jealous. Because if you don't have a plan, you would want everything that seems good and seems nice. And it's not everything that's good and nice that we must have. Mm. And even if they are good and they are nice, we, it's not every time we must have them. There are certain times that we are going to have certain things and sometimes we won't have those things, even though they are good and they are nice. So just have a plan. Stick to your plan. Don't let them pressure you. And don't let bygones be bygones. Go and bygone. We'll do that. <laughs> no by God. Please don't by God, no. By God. Don't by God, please. Bye. Okay, thank you, Ray. Just to piggyback off what we Ray said, I think the first thing that comes to my mind when I, when I hear about jealousy is comparison. Because jealousy really comes when you're comparing yourself to another person. And you know, the person I love would say that nothing is small until compared. So it might be a pointer to the fact that you need to do some you know, reflection with yourself, with God, and just check how far, like, what's the plan for my life? What's going on? What's this void or why am I feeling this way? It's probably because there's something that you need to deal with or just pay more attention to. And also there's the fact that sometimes jealousy is valid. I think that was one of the first things we discussed. Jealousy can sometimes be valid, especially if, like, let's say for academics now, it's just a very common goal that you and your friend are working towards and it seems like this person is getting results that you are not. I would say since you said it's a friend, if you feel comfortable, you can just ask them, like, what are they doing to get these results? Because I think when, we, when we're when jealous of people, we tend to just 
it comes from me. Sometimes it gets to the place of anger. And you're just like, why does this person have these results? And I don't. I'm trying the same way. But there may be some lessons or some tips that they are utilizing to get those results that you don't have. So if you feel comfortable enough, you can just ask, like, hey, I noticed that you have this, like, oh, you're doing well academically or financially or whatever. And I'll just like some tips from you or anything like that. But to round it all up, please remember that. Everyone has felt jealous at one point or the other. You are not a bad person for being jealous. And, you know, I think we've given so many tips to work towards or work on the jealousy this this episode. And I hope the next time we hear from you, we sorted this feelings out. So thank you for joining us on today's episode. And like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. And we hope to see you on the next one. Bye.